Hi there everyone, so um, today's video is going to be looking at the Lisa Armstrong makeup collection um, I have got some other eye collection to show you um, So without ado, let's have a look at these So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eye colours, eyeshadows um, And they all come in a nice pink box and got it upside down so, oh. um, so yeah, um, they come in a nice box. They're all, they're all gold, and at the tips they've got the colours. So when you if you stick them in a pot, you can see what all the colours are. Um, you sharpen them with a cosmetic pencil sharpener, and this bit here is wax. So um, there's no drag on your eye, like from the sharpenings of a of a wooden, a wooden one. Um, so this one is crystal quartz so i'll do some swatches on my arm oh, oh i think we'll go that way <laughs> can't twist my arm so that's crystal quartz they are all out of the boxes so this is molten so this is like a, a goldy Goldy shade. They are all um, shimmery. So this is gunpowder. I will put a link of them all. Swatch does a picture on my arm. But they do literally just glide on. Um, gold mine. That one's like a, a rose gold. Perfect Storm. They're all neutral shades as well. As you can see. Um, Firecracker. That's like a ready tone. Starstruck. That is, I don't know if you can really like like a highlightery colour she does use it as a highlighter um, and then last but not least bronze so I'll take a picture and link it in the video of all the, the colours so I have um, put my shade of the day um, day cream on and then I've mixed the two Lisa Armstrong foundations. I'm a 20 and a 40. I do a uh, a tiny bit of the 40 because it's a darker one. Um, and then I've put setting powder on my face and some eye primer on. And that is it. So today I am going to be trying on Molten. I think I, I thought I was going to... can't think. Molten. No, sorry, I'm changing my mind. I'm going to go with Crystal Quartz, a dark shade. Right, so. You just put it all over the lid. I am using my phone camera. I will switch to the other one. So please bear with me. So all over the eyelid like so and then the other one and as I say I have put my eye primer on so the colours stand out a lot more I do apologise for the funny facial expressions right so we are all over the eyelid and then you go in with your finger and Lisa says blending it with your finger is the best way with these so you can blend it out I don't normally wear a full dark eye colour but I thought I'd show you so that you can see the full effect I've got hooded eyes so I normally put a light colour on and then 
the outer corners put the dark colour on and then what you can do is touch up with your foundation after as I said I put all mine on beforehand so ideally I do do my eyes and then my foundation but there's no fallout with these so that's perfect the more you do this the better you get as I said I've put a dark colour on so you can see it coming on so there we go and then you can like line the bottom of your lashes with it as well so I only do sorry I can't use the two cameras so there we go I just do the outer corners and then with the highlighter colour starstruck you can I am going to go you can do the inner court like the inner corner I am going to do the middle what do do I do one middle one And then just tap it out. See that 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 has now brightened that up a lot more. So just in the middle. And they are buildable. I've just put a light shade on top of a dark shade. And it's not transferred on there, which I think that is really good. The fact that that has not, not got that dark colour on it, because that can be so annoying. Alright, so just tap, tap, tap. Right, and then. I've got no highlighter on my face, so I am going to draw on my face. And if you use your ring finger, it's got the softest touch. So. Yeah, Cupid's bow. And down my nose. I'm going to use this as a highlighter today. Dual purpose. There we go. So that's all her. That's the eyeshadows. And so go. They just literally go on. I don't normally use crayons, so if it is a bit messy. I do apologise, but it goes on. So I do. I do like that so she then has an eyeliner I can't wear eyeliner because I've got hooded eyes so if I put this eyeliner on which I'll, I'll put it on um, where you can see the color as soon as this goes on I've got hooded eyes so it doesn't doesn't show but it is so fine and it's, they all come in the same hmm, colour packaging and then they're all gold. So let's give this a go. Right, I'm going to have to use both mirrors, I reckon. All right. Do apologise for the dodgy camera angles. So, one line. And I've only mine starts up from the middle, and it's so like I said, it's so super super fine. Right, and then this one, 
is my dodgy one. So. And if you get it as close to the lash line as you can, and it is with eyeliner, it's trial and error. Yep. Uh, I'll just darken that one just a little. There we go. I do like an eyeliner, but I think there's a bit missing. Oh god. That's better. So that's the eyeliner. Yep. So then, as I said, this is an eye collection. Body on the foundation one. Curl your eyelashes. Don't think I've got any in there. Right. I love this mascara. So this is black. So it comes in a package. Gold. Right, so you don't pump it, you swishle it around. And then you glide it on in zigzag motions. And the first time I was putting this on I was thinking what? I can't feel nothing. No, you know when you put it on your eyelashes and you can feel the stuff going on? It's like, where is it? So I did. <laughs> Literally, put it on. <laughs> to make sure that it was coming on because it feels like there's nothing on your brush. It doesn't drag. It doesn't catch your eyelashes. It literally just glides on. I do like doing my bottom lashes. So yeah, so the second coat. That's supposed to zigzag all the way from the bottom. To the top and I hopefully I've got some nice stuff to show you coming soon that will go with these some glued eyelashes there we go so that's the mascara then we have got four brow pencils we have ash blonde brown and black so Mine's going to be brown today. So we can get this video rolled. So they come up. Got the nice little brush on the end. And a nice pointed tip. So I will excuse the hair as well. Brush my eyebrows. Very funny doing it in the camera video, but there you go. Well, more about quickness. Right, so I'm going to have to do it over here because I can't see. So I just shape the top. This is what I do. Everybody does their brows differently. Just when mine grow in the wrong direction. So, this is brown. There you go. Just glides on, literally. And then that one eyebrow is so much easier to shape. Two. 
And then if I feel that they're too dark, at these bits, I do brush it for a bit. Because I like to see them, but I don't like to stand out. So there's that. And I'm going to finish off with the 3D plumping lip gloss in, I want to say, nude. I did want to say nude. And this stays on when you wear your mask. And I will say, this tingles. When you put it on, but it's thirsty. All this lot is available now. Um, so bye. So there you go. And then what I wanted to show you. So there's the eyeshadows. Stays on. Don't come off. <laughs> okay um so yeah that's the lisa armstrong collection um there is some sets coming out as well so you can purchase a set as well i am loving that eyeshadow i will perfect how to get it on i think i'll on top of my head but yes so yeah it did it literally glided on i like it um, so yeah, and if anyone is interested in becoming a rep and joining my team, um, drop us a message um, and I'll give you all the info um, on it to join. So, hope you enjoyed my video um, and love the products as well. Thank you. Bye.